Peace and blessings, everybody. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. So um, I just wanted to come through real quick just to let y'all know, please make sure um, that you check out my video clips um, from both of my videos, um, which we shot um, over the last two weeks. So um, it's Say My Name and let me see. I'll just take the glasses off. It's Say My Name as well as Addiction. So um, I just want to come through just to tell y'all thank you so much for all the love and support. And um, if you guys don't know, um, my mom just turned um, 76 uh, yesterday. So I'm very, very uh, blessed um, to still have my mom. Um, and to enjoy her, um, yesterday, because what a lot of people don't know is that, um, actually Sunday of last week, um, my mom has a, a snickerdoodle, which is a, which is a bigger dog than she's, um, used to having. And, um, she's, my mom's always had like small dogs. But um, she had a snicker. She has a snickerdoodle that's about a year and a half old, um, and she's a larger dog. She's about seventy-five pounds. My mom was outside playing with the dog, playing ball with the dog, um, and my mom tripped on her shoelaces, and my mom busted her head to the white meat. And what I want to share with you all is that I had the worst scare of my life. Um, last last Sunday um what ended up happening is my mom and this is crazy because you know I really don't share like a lot of information but I'm just sharing this with you because I want you all to understand what um gratitude and being appreciative and um being a positive uh person always looking for the best in people um it does come through um uh, many ways so I'm just sharing this with you guys because um, it was a lot going on. Um, I was traveling, um, shooting videos, um, uh, putting out negative fires, um, and just it was a lot going on. So basically, um, like I said, my mom fell. And out here in Las Vegas, like your back walls are most of the time like cement blocks um that are like on the on the perimeter of your home that surround your home um like i've never really seen like a fence around somebody's house i mean they do have them but at my mom's house um my mom has a brick brick wall um covering her entire um backyard area the pool all of that stuff so long story short, she tripped on her shoelace and she, she fell. She tried to break her fall and she hit her head on the brick wall. Um, as she hit her head, she was actually on the phone talking to somebody, um, which was my cousin um, in Wisconsin. My mom was talking to somebody on the phone. Um, she got off of the phone. I guess she got a towel and just her head was like leaking. Now, everyone that I really rock with, everybody knows that um, I have insomnia. So I sleep maybe three, two to three hours a night. Um, so I started, uh, I went to see a doctor about my insomnia. So they put me like on medication so that I can actually sleep. And it's been working um, really well. Um, so when I go to sleep, I get up, I feel rested. Um, I feel just like replenished, um, which is great too, because like the, I don't have bags under my eyes, you know, it's, it's, it's working. So, um, normally if I take my medication, it puts me out for like eight to 10 hours, uh, so that I get the proper amount of sleep. And I went to bed at six in the morning that Sunday that my mom had this accident and it was crazy because my spirit woke me up. My mom called me at 843. Most people know that, um, that call me that my phone is on do not disturb. If I see you calling me, if I choose to answer, I choose to answer. If I'm asleep, I'm asleep. 
And sometimes I do answer my phone in my sleep. So if I curse you out or I talk kind of sideways and I'm sleeping, I do apologize because I've done that to a couple of people. So anyway, <laughs> um, so my mom actually called and when she called, it was, it was really scary. She was screaming my name in the phone for about, um, a minute and 27 seconds. Um, my spirit woke me up. She called me at 843. My spirit woke me up at 847. Um, I listened to the message and when I listened to the message, I immediately jumped up out of my bed, put my Nikes on, got in my whip and, and went to my mom's house. And when I got to my mom's house, um, when I came around the corner, there was the fire truck. I saw my mom's car in front of, um, her neighbor's house, like down the street. Cause my mom lives at the end and her car was like in the middle of the block. Um, I saw the EMS, I park right behind the EMS. I get out, I'm on the phone with my sister, um, trying to find out what's going on. I did not see my mom. I did not see my mom. Um, I saw her legs and I saw that she was not moving. So I started like freaking out. Um, there were five EMS guys. Um, they put my mom in the bus. They wrapped my mom's head. My mom basically busted her head to the white meat. My mom had to get stitches on the inside of her head and she had to actually get stitches on the exterior as well. So it was very scary, um, for myself and my family, um, and my sister, my sister, you know, hops on a plane, um, from the East Coast and comes here because it was a lot for me to deal with. Um, my mom is very active. She's a very active 76 year old woman. Um, my mother still drives. My mom, you know, hangs out. My mom, you know, does her thing. My mom is retired um, from State Farm. So she has, you know, really like enjoyed her retirement and it was just very scary. So I just want to, um, wanted to share that with y'all because as I was shooting my videos, all this stuff was going on at the same time. Um, then I left and then I came back. And when I came back, it was, you know, getting her to her doctor's appointments, um, doing things that she would normally do for herself. I had to chip in and I'm going to always chip in because that's my mom's, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just want to let you guys know that I'm very, very grateful, um, uh, because that situation could have went very left. Um, my mom is an older woman. Um, you know, so it was very scary. It was very scary. And, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all because as you guys see these wonderful, um, captions of my videos, um, it was a lot going on during that time. So, um, at the end of the day, I'm just very grateful. And then, um, that happened a week before her birthday. So my mom turned 76 yesterday. I'm very grateful for my mom. I'm very grateful for all my fans. Um, I'm grateful um, to my family that um, that jumped in and kicked in when all this stuff was going on. Um, and I also just thank everybody that participated in the video shoot. Um, I kind of keep, you know, things um, kind of guarded and, um, you know, that was really scary. And the only thing I could say is that, you know, when you live your life and you put out positive things, positive things come back to you. Um, that could have went really left. And I'm just very, very blessed and, and fortunate that my mom just bumped her head and got some stitches, which could have been 10 times worse. So I just want to let everybody know, like, I'm, I'm so, so grateful for, for life. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my spouse. I'm grateful for my child. I'm grateful for every everything that I have and everything that I've worked for. And um, that's just it. You know what I mean? I put positive energy out, positive energy I'm going to always get back. Um, there are, you know, some negative, like, little bees going around. And I just, I don't have time for it. I just really want you guys to understand that when you uplift somebody and you love on somebody, um, you appreciate what they bring to the table. Um, you commend them on their accolades. When you move like that, nothing negative against you will prosper. And like I always say, Jah got me. 
and all of this stuff that has gone on for the last six months, I'm good on, I'm, I'm fine, <laughs> I'm happy, I'm blessed, I'm loved, I'm married. I just, you know, I, 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 can't, I can't complain for anything. Um, this pandemic has affected all of us to some sort of degree, be it financially, emotionally, uh, losing family members. So at this point in time, I just want you guys to embrace gratitude and be grateful for what you have and be grateful for what talents that you have that you can tap into that can, that can create a coin for you. So I just, I really, really, really want to say thank you um, to everybody. And I'm very grateful um, for everybody that, you know, has, you know, positive things to say. People that are speaking upon negativity, I don't have time for you and I'm not making no space for you. And I never have had a space. Um, so I just want everybody to be their best. I want everybody to win. And I want everybody to love on themselves and bring your talents to the table. And let's see what, what talents you got. And let's, and let's, let's rock out. I want to see everybody shine. And that's my whole purpose of um, doing this video. That's my whole purpose of me and my purpose of my being is I love on people. I'm a messenger. Um, it is what it is. So I'm very, very blessed and fortunate. And then I do have some big news, but I am not going to release that news to you guys um, as of yet. Um, but it's it's big. <laughs> so you guys have a good day and enjoy your Wednesday and be productive this week. Get on your grind, get on your hustle and remember to run your laps. Peace.